You see this? Same rip guy, but just by changing my breathing and posture, I can make my abs disappear. And this is what happens to you when you perform the wrong ab exercise. So you're probably wondering, is there really such a bad thing as a bad ab exercise? And isn't doing any type of ab exercise a good one in getting six pack abs? Well, not exactly. And it's broken down into two things. First, if you want to lose belly fat and get six pack abs, there's something you need to realize. There's no ab exercise in the world that will magically just get you six pack abs. You need to reduce that layer of fat that's covering your abs to get your abs visible. But unfortunately, there's no shortcut around that. However, if you do exercise regularly and eat healthy, you will reduce that layer of fat that's covering your abs and get your six pack to show. And you can continue doing your ab exercises and core routines to get your abs stronger. But just know that doing those exercises alone won't do the trick. Secondly, there really is no bad exercise. It's performing the exercise incorrectly that makes it not a good ab exercise. And to be specific, just by breathing and contracting your ab muscles effectively will determine and make or break a good ab exercise. Let me show you what I mean. So let's do something as simple as the plank. Plank is a great core workout, great ab strengthening exercise. And just by changing your breathing and posture, I'll show you effectively what I'm talking about. So doing it incorrectly, your posture's all not there. You're letting your gut hang out. You're not tensing up all your muscles together. And it's not, it's not doing what a plank should be doing for you, which is strengthening your core, strengthening your abs. Just by tensing up your body, making sure you're flexing all your muscles, including your core, you can change what was ineffectively done into a great workout. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do this plank incorrectly and letting my core not be flexed, letting my gut hang out, my stomach just you know, fall to the floor and my breathing, not breathing at all actually, not breathing correctly. You can see that this plank is not a plank and it's not an effective plank. I'm not doing what a plank is supposed to do, which is engage your core and engage your, your abs and breath, definitely no breathing involved to effectively do this exercise. Now, I'm gonna change it up and do it effectively and show you this little breathing technique to tighten your core up. So what you wanna do, flex your muscles, tense your muscles, flex your stomach. Actually, flexing your stomach will help engage that core more and holding that flex position and doing little short breaths like that will effectively turn this plank into a more effective exercise. Now let's do another standard ab exercise movement the line bicycle. So I'm gonna do these without even paying attention, without even focusing, without even breathing. Now let me show you when you apply the correct breathing and uh, contracting your abs with each movement and slowing down each rep and really feeling it, what a world of a difference it makes. see how much more my abs are engaged and you can actually you can physically actually see my core engaging with each of these reps and another standard movement you can apply this breathing and ab contracting technique to is the standard leg raise so I'm gonna do these leg raises ineffectively and not controlling my breathing so you can see exactly what I'm talking about All right, so let's control your breathing, slow down the reps, and really flex those abs when you do these leg raises.
You see, just by controlling my breathing, I exhaled all the air out of my stomach so that it contracts my abdominal area way more. So now that you've seen this difference for yourself, here's what I want you to do. Take these techniques I showed you and apply them to your own ab workouts or any body part or any exercise that you're doing and apply the breathing, the posture, the contraction. Really slow down your reps, get it controlled so that you fully contract and engage each muscle. And by doing so, you'll build quality muscle and I guarantee it. And a rule of thumb, simple rule of thumb, use the three second rule in performing uh, each repetition to help you control and know how long to hold a certain uh, repetition or a certain hold in the exercise. So I hope you guys found this tip useful. You can use it immediately in the gym. I promise you it's a game changer. It'll make your workouts way more effective if you can apply this to every rep you do. So continue to like, share, comment, subscribe to our page. We love hearing from you guys. We'll see you again soon. See you later.